<laughs> Hello, um, my name is Hussain. I lost my one young world virginity last year um, <laughs> when I was in Thailand, and I can't start talking without saying a very big thank you to both of you. So thank you very, very much. Um, it's a bit, I, I, I hope it's not cliche when I say it really did change my life. Um, I come from a little place called Ilford on the suburbs of East London. <laughs> oh, thanks. And um, people from Ilford don't get to travel the world and speak. And also, um, the moment I came off stage last year in Thailand, my life changed. It changed. I started space training. Um, I'm lucky, very, very lucky to be working with Kruger Kaun. So Mark and Gina, thank you very much for putting up with my antics. I'm not easy to work with, I assure you, and um, they've been very supportive. And from that, I've been able to work on some incredible things. Um, yesterday, you saw Cher and Mark talk about the wildlife campaign. I was with them when we went to Pakistan twice. Um, I visited various refugee camps. And I've been campaigning, campaigning a hell of a lot for mental health. Um, I think the way Earth is at the moment, the way our planet is, it's very, very difficult for us to be happy. Everywhere we look, we are putting psychological stress and pain on our planet, and I just think it's quite sad. Um, so, three things really that really, really get to me. The first one is the rainforest. That's something that we really need to save. Second one is Syria really, really needs us. And the third one is black lives really do matter. So, um, and, James Chow mentioned a few days ago that we can't just hashtag and think that's okay, and it's true, we can't. It's absolutely not. It's not all right. Um, with what I'm doing, I'm not asking anybody to um, sign up to a Facebook page or anything like that, but you can follow me on Instagram if you want. I'm just putting that out there. Um, what I'd say to you is, if you could take anything away from me today, I just want you to tell somebody that you love that you're there for them, and their mental health really, really does matter. And sometimes that's the most difficult thing, to sit, sit next to somebody you love so much and be able to just tell them, like, yo, I'm here for you. Are you really there for me? Yes, test that, use that. If someone's in your life, use them. Use it to better yourself and to better them. Um, I wrote a poem I'd like to share with you all, and I hope all of you or some of you or even one of you could take something away from it. It's called Mother Tongue. I went to war without recruiting an army. I stared at my enemy with two feet strong. I walked to this front line like nothing could harm me. And that, my friends, is where I went wrong. This pitch black war zone, it sends no warning. Soldier, your enemy is approaching and it will last till morning. So I awake from my sleep to prepare for my calling. I have seen it too many times before when the midnight is falling. When you hear them sirens, you create your ammo. So my thoughts become pelicans and I intertwine them to these arrows. My call of duty led my black ops down a path and it was narrow. The black pearl was not only discovered by Captain Jack Sparrow. Lone soldiers must not sail through the night. After hours, these waters are forbidden. The ocean, you don't know her, she isn't nice. She will cover your enemies as they are swimming hidden. Of course, by yourself, you can try hard. Many before us have tried to swim alone and never made it back to the boatyard. 
Trust me, soldiers, you cannot fight a tsunami without a lifeguard. My sergeant told me, be honest, or how else would we connect? Honest, he said, a word we are both still to understand yet. Back to ground, I return to rally my troops. I want the stronger soldier from the land. I want the queen of the castle. So I approach her roof. She's never lost a battle, never shed a tear, never fought twice on a decision and showed us purity beats fair. I request for her to join me. But boy, this request, it lays much deeper. Her name is my mother. And up until now, she never knew this battle existed either. I went to war without recruiting an army. I stared at the enemy with two feet strong. I approached this front line like nothing would harm me, and that, my friends, is where I went wrong. Mum, it's me. I have been battling demons at night in my sleep. Mum, it's me. I have covered my lies through the smiles of my teeth. Mum, it's me. Ami mojhe dekho, meri jaan ko bachao. Ami mojhe dekho. Mary John Cobacha, Ola Mama, Mera Loke me ha pasado. Ola Mama, Mera Loke me ha pasado. Bonjour, Mamo, je ne sais pas pourquoi. Bonjour, Mamo, je ne sais pas pourquoi. I have been battling demons at night in my sleep. Ami Mujer de Ko, Mary John Cobacha, Mera Loke me ha pasado. Bonjour, Mamo, je ne sais pas pourquoi. I have been fighting demons at night in my sleep. I've been covering my life through the smiles of my teeth. Mum, it's just me. I fought this battle for far too long. I've really tried to hide the way I'm feeling. I have sat and cried to the words of every single slow song. I even recruited my own guardians of the galaxies who come with me to fight these midnight demons. And you know the only thing I would hear? Man down, man down, sergeant. Suicide has taken our soldier. Man down, man down, sergeant. Who did it take this time? Oh, it took bipolar. Man down, man down, sergeant. Listen, if you can hear me and you're in a war, your battle is not over. I said, if you can hear me and you're in a war, your battle is not over. You see your peace of mind, soldiers, it makes no sense for us to die for it. Your war zone is hardship, of course, but it will lead you to a victory, but you will have to fight for it. So don't you dare give in. Don't you dare throw in this towel. If it's knocked you down again and again, you better get back up. Together we're gonna go one more round. None of your stories end here. It's only a chapter that has finished. So let's write act two, scene one, and let's bring some new characters in it. The first is honesty. The second is trust. The third is companionship. And the fourth is must. I take my sleeping tablets and my antidepressants and I fling them out of this window. I refuse to be detached from my mind and thoughts, each night making me a midnight widow. When you drop your guard, depression's gonna flood itself in. And anxiety is a bitch. She isn't gonna knock, she's gonna let herself in. And in that moment when the world will seem so cruel and they call you a little mummy's boy, you just tell them, my mother didn't raise no fool. So feel no shame and guilt in what you feel, soldiers. For many around us encounter a similar battle, it's just all on a different playing field. I refuse to let it define me, and I refuse to let it beat me. I refuse to have another sleepless night because of what lies beneath me. So yes, I went to war and I didn't have an army. And I still stare at this enemy with two feet strong, me, I'm gonna run to the front line like nothing could harm me. And the day I told my mum, she said, my dear boy, you was never once wrong. Thank you. <laughs>